In this lecture we will be taking a look at the stencil sheets that are brought to you by Brother. These are a great way of creating stencils that you can fix to any surface including cardstock and they will give you a nice tight seal through which to stencil your paints, your inks or sprays. Comes in a roll and it's 12 inches by 24 inches and it already has its temporary adhesive on the back. So I'm going to dive in and open this pack and show you what it's all about. It does come with some brief instructions, a pictorial step by step of how to fix it onto your mat and then put it on your surface and stencil through. There are some recommended settings there as well, so a blade depth of 1 and a cut pressure of minus 1. I've cut myself a piece and I'm going to stick it to the mat with the green side facing down. One top tip is to get rid of all air bubbles using your um, roller. I will now go ahead and choose a pattern to cut the stencil. This can of course be your own design or any other design you would prefer to use. I'm changing the blade depth. I'm going to start at 1, which was the lowest recommended setting. And I already have my machine set to minus 1 on the pressure. And the machine is now going ahead and cutting that design for me. I've sped this up though because obviously it took a while to cut. When that's finished, unload the mat, peel off the stencil including the backing. Now when it comes to weeding, you could spend hours trying to figure out what bits are what and then pulling them apart like you see here or as a little top tip Get yourself a bit of tape or even an offcut from your stencil sheet. Wrap it around your fingers and then use that to lift up the other areas that you don't want in your stencil. Saves a lot of time and hassle. Even with that saved time, I sped up this video. There may be a couple of bits left over and bits stuck to your fingers, but again use that tape or stencil sheet to get those off. When it comes to using your stencil, you can either peel it off part or you can peel it off whole. Then get stuck to whatever you want to stencil on to. I found a couple of extra bits that I didn't get out. At least once they're gone, they're gone. And when you have your stencil in place, you can start inking through it, spritzing, spraying, applying paints, whatever you fancy really. I got a bit carried away, so I will speed this section up again. When you've finished faffing around, peeling the stencil off is easy as it has a temporary adhesive. Peel it back gently, ensuring not to get any of your um, inks or whatever spilt. 
And there we have it. In a matter of minutes, a custom cut stencil to the size I want and inked onto the surface I want. Nice crisp clean edges and corners as well. Okay, so that was the stencil sheets. I hope you find it useful and can now use that accessory to its full potential.